The Deputy Vice Chancellor of the University of Lagos, Professor Asenowa, has advocated a constitutional review to ensure women's full participation in politics. Asenowa, who disclosed this while speaking at a conference on gender equity, emphasized that achieving gender equity requires treating men and women equally without discrimination or doubting women's ability to perform as effectively as men. The convener of the program, Professor Oyewo Oyelowo SAN, mentioned that the main problems depriving women from achieving a greater post, especially in politics, are culture, religion, and language. The former first lady of Iki the state, Erelu Bisi Faimi, stated that for a nation to achieve progress, men and women must come together in unity, fostering mutual support and collaboration to overcome challenges and work towards shared developmental goals. She explained that women must uplift and support one another to cultivate peaceful communities and strong leadership, fostering unity and collaboration for societal progress. No society, no community can make any progress if you do not involve women and men at all levels in all spheres. And it's extremely important for women to have voice, space and agency so that they can become whatever it is they, have and they are meant to be. I appreciate all the lecturers and students who made today possible and I hope we will continue with these intergenerational conversations because they are extremely important as we prepare leaders for tomorrow. This is why we have constantly urged that if the Nigerian state is going to change, if we're going to have women in political leadership, we really must do something about our constitution. We must. Um, what, are, what is law? Law is a tool of social engineering. When you want to achieve something, you use the law. You use the law to force, and then when the law works, people see, and then they drop their guard. So, for example, we have asked for, um, you know, we've asked for the Constitution to establish about 30% minimum in political parties' leadership, We've asked for the Constitution to recognize, you know, to put in arrangements that will enable women's representation up to one third. Different models have been advanced, including um, special constituency. We have also um, drawn attention to the fact that in some countries it is that political parties must field female candidates. So if we want to show, if we want to debunk, if we want to challenge, if we want to strike down those myths, those misconceptions, those stereotypes which men use in the campaigning, in the contestation, we will need to draw on tools such as law. It is when you submit to one another that you are able to get the best out of each other. You don't lord it against another human being. The human being was created the same way you were created. And this is not about feminism. This is about gender recognition and mainstreaming. Making sure that our sisters are treated, our children, daughters are protected against, you know, violent people. You know, there are women, they marry and the man becomes violent. And the parents will still be insisted until the guy, the guy beats the, the, the child to death. And that is what we are talking about. There should be no violence against anybody, especially our women. So when we talk about gender issues, we are bringing a very critical aspect of our resources. And any nation that is able to liberate its food, all its workforce, irrespective of gender, is a nation that is preparing itself for you know, development, advancement, well-being, peace and prosperity of everybody. And that's what this conference is all about. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.